What is up guys? I'm the High Tech Redneck back today to give you a sound demo of my Donner pedals. So these are the only Donner pedals I've ever tried and I like all of them. I cannot vouch for every one they make but as far as these go I think these sound good. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you how I like to set these pedals basically. Um, I mean <clears throat> generally when I'm playing these I will have these settings or something very close to them. Um, the one thing that will change majorly, well, the two things that will change majorly are the compression and the uh, and the gain. I, I, will, I will play with those depending on the song to uh, to play with the tone. But everything else is almost exactly like this all the time whenever I play with these. So uh, <clears throat> this recording, I'm not going to do anything really fancy with it. I'm going to adjust the volumes after the recording to kind of you know set the levels right. But I'm just going to do that on a broad scope. I'm not going to adjust the volume every three seconds. I'm just going to do it once for the clean part and then once for the overdriven part. And uh, to, to balance that out properly, everything else you're going to hear will be in the pedals themselves. And when we come back, we will discuss the tone and all of that. And also, I'm sure there's going to be some mistakes in the play-in. It's whatever. I'm just noodling around here to give you guys a feel for the kind of sounds I like to make with these. So I'll be back in a bit. Enjoy. Hopefully you guys find this useful.
right, guys. Well, I hope that sounded good to you. Hope you enjoyed that. So, my thoughts on the tone of these pedals. Uh, the really short, sweet version is these three non-drive pedals sound amazing, and the overdrive pedal sounds good, but slightly darker in voicing than I prefer. Um, so, yeah, I think you'll notice whenever I turn the noise killer on, there was not only a reduction in the buzz whenever uh, there, there was silence, there was also a change in the clean tone. It seems to boost the highs and the mids a little bit and to make everything a little bit more clean. And uh, I think it raises the volume just a slight bit. Maybe my weak little pickups in that Squire Bullet are, are not as loud as what this boosts the, uh, the signal up to be. But yeah, it's like a very, very slight, subtle boost. And then this guy... Uh, the compressor does some amazing things. I have it set very subtly right now, but it adds body to to the sound. It adds some punch in the mid range. It adds some, uh, I guess you would say a little bit of thickness, but at the same time, it maintains a, a lot of clarity and it maintains a lot of very clean, pretty sound in the uh in, in the cleans, which I really like that. It just gives you power without making things muddy. And uh, I have the tone set up a little bit higher than a transparent tone, which makes it sound a little bit thin, honestly. But then I use that sound to work with the tube drive, slightly darker voicing to, uh, it just gives it just a tiny, tiny bit of extra tone when I turn the drive on and I like the gritty sound that it gets when you blend those two together. I also really like the way the compressor pedal reacts with the overdrive. It actually drives the overdrive a little bit harder than a normal signal would and just makes the overdrive sound better. So yeah, this thing is just all around a good addition to the tone. This delay pedal is my favorite. <laughs> I really love this thing. It, it, is, it is a great, great sound. I, uh, I I love the analog organic sound of this. That's why I chose this over the yellow fall delay. Um, I, I don't know exactly what to say about it. I, I like to set it where it's subtle enough that it doesn't distract you from the music being played, but it's strong enough to build a nice epic wall of ambience in the background. And I set it on a, a sort of medium length delay. I don't use a short slap back. I don't use an extra long delay. I kind of dial it in until it, it, it disappears into the background. That's that's the way I like to think of it. I, I play bluesy lead guitar stuff, and then I dial this just a little bit at a time until I don't notice it blatantly in the background. Um, and, the, and, and yeah, I love this. This is my favorite addition to my tone. It has come from Donner Pedals so far. But I, I like all of this, honestly. And then, and then the tube drive, Donner was gracious enough to send this to me to review. So thank you, Donner. You guys are awesome. Once again, being totally awesome. I mean, to totally being totally awesome here. Damn right. I'm being totally honest here. I wish this tone knob went up higher. I've got it maxed out, and uh, it's still just a, a, a slight bit darker than I would prefer. Now, to be honest, I kind of like this dark tone for certain things, but at other times, I wish I could go up much brighter than this. So, Donner, make this tone knob go up higher, and you will have an insanely amazing overdrive pedal. Uh, yeah, on the boost setting, the drive on, on this, uh, the gain on this pedal is balling out of control. I have the gain set fairly low, and it still sounds high gain in the recording, I believe. But, uh, but yeah, that is the boost setting. I do like the, the power and the grit that it has, but at the same time, the boost in that is really loud. I have the volume almost shut off, and it still almost, well, it still actually is a little bit too loud on the signal. I had to, uh, to, to shrink the volume down a little bit in that in the editing of that in order to keep it keep the sound balanced <clears throat> so yeah all in all I, I i love the tones that i can get from these and when you add in you know more pedals and more options with these it just gets better and better and better but <clears throat> considering that all four of these pedals cost roughly 140 150 bucks you can pay that much for a single effect pedal or you can go out and buy all of these awesome options that i can get right here from these four pedals all at once for that same price. That is amazing. And beyond that, if I would have had these pedals as a beginner in my early days of guitar playing, I would be a better guitar player today. So yeah, that is how I use my Donner pedals generally. And um, 
Like I said, I can't vouch for the sound of all of their pedals, but as far as these are concerned, I like them. And if you are interested in them, definitely check them out. Check out my other videos if you want to see more information about the construction and the quirkiness and the way the things are built and, and you know other things like that. This video was just about the sound. I hope you guys found this interesting and awesome and useful. I am the high-tech redneck. Later.